Hello everyone, it's Veronica and welcome back to my channel. Hello, it has been a big old while, but I wanted to make this special video because I have received my Kindle scrub. It is so, why did I think it was going to be like around the Kindle Paperwhite size? Because it's not. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would unbox this with you guys. You're going to see my messy desk, my messy laptop, um, because I'm not a professional. First off, disclaimers. I am a big ol' reader, so if you've come here for Kindle Scribe specs, you know, battery life, um, statistics, I'm just gonna say you're in the wrong area because for me, I talk about books, I talk about what I love about the Paperwhite from a reader standpoint, so I'm not gonna be like, yeah, the, the page brightness is chef's kit. I mean, I'm probably gonna mention that, but like, I'm not, I, I don't know what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say it's like the perfect, it is 300, 300 PPI. Like I have zero idea what PPI means. So, you know, if you're here for kind of the statistics, I urge you, there are so many videos out there that do have that kind of stats for you. So tech savvy channels out there, I recommend you go that one. Um, I'm going to talk about what I like about me as a reader and someone who loves to annotate my books physically and on Kindle, so that's why I got this. That's why I got this. So we're going to unbox it. We're going to do a little comparison to, I guess, speed, comparing it to the Paperwhite Signature Edition, and then the Scribe. Obviously, obviously what I think is that this is obviously going to be much faster. It's going to be better because this one has to connect better with the pen. And so what I got was the premium pen. I also got the 32 gig. I'm sure people could be okay with 16, but I got 32 just to be safe. I thought 64 gig would be too much. So I just got for 32. Anyways, let us unbox this. You're not going to see my face. You're just going to see this. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. All right. Just a warning. This is going to be shaky because I'm using my hands to hold the camera. Okay, first off, it is big. This, so this is the Kindle Paperwhite, by the way. It, like, this is, like, if you look at it, that's how big it is compared to just the whole Kindle. I think it's insane. It, like, it, this, I mean, why am I doing this? This is literally just the box, but this is how it looks like. This is the box. It's pretty sleek. Pretty sleek, pretty slim, and I like it. So here's the information if you guys want to check it out. Pause here, do whatever. USB-C, that's very interesting. I like how they've slowly changed to USB-C. Um, anyway, let's get started. Oof. Wow, I'm impressed. I also realize. Oh, wow. That's it for the box, by the way. This is it. It just says Hello Kindle Scribe. This is the pen, or oh, maybe the pen tips. I think that's nice. And here's the pen. You can see the quote if you're interested. Look at that. Very nice. Obviously, Amazon doesn't come with the the cord. I'm really struggling to get this pen out. So here's the cord. USB-C. Perfect, because I have like a million USB-Cs now. Um, this is the pen. Wow. Very nice. Very sleek looking. Nice. I'm guessing this... I don't know what this is. We'll try it. Anyway, let's do this. You know what? 
I'm sorry. This could have gone so much better, but still love it. Still good. Whoa! First, this is what it looks like. It is beautiful. I can feel these. I'm guessing these are like rubber stoppers. Yeah, wow. It's really impressive. Very sleek, the back. I'm now afraid that like you can see my fingerprints. It's very, I don't know, it's kind of like the Kindle Oasis, but I would say not as shiny and slippery. This feels like it would have more grip. And then if we flip, I love it because, you know, this is what I would have loved for the Kindle Oasis. Just, you know, instead of having the grip, it's just, it's got this. It's amazing and I really like it. So here are the side buttons. We have the on button right here. I don't know. It's focusing on my keyboard, which, sorry. So we have the on button and then we have the charging, which is, um, you know, I've watched a few videos and have heard the complaint of this being um, on the side and how, you know, they wish it was on the bottom or on the top. Anyway, let's go ahead and press it on. Ooh, beautiful. And you can kind of already see my fingerprints. Yeah, that is going to bother me, but that's not going to be a deal breaker for me. I mean, I can always just use a cloth towel and just wipe it. English. Beautiful. This looks amazing. I forgot to click. I'm in the US. Amazing. It looks really good. I mean, from just looking at it like this, it is it's just so clear. It is amazing. We'll definitely check out the pen. I don't know how it connects, so I still have to see how that works. So I'm gonna cut here, and then I'll come back when I have finished setting it up, because, you know, obviously personal information, but also, um, you know, it's gonna take forever. You guys have probably already seen all this, but to kind of mark, it did come with 63% battery. I like to charge it on the very first day. Things are different. First off, this bottom row. Home, library, notebooks, more. Love it. It looks so clear. I don't- am I like- I don't know. I think it's just because it's so much bigger and I'm just still getting used to it. But I really want to check out the notebooks, so let- There you go. Okay, it says to start taking notes. Tap the plus icon to create your first notebook. You can also add folders to keep your notebooks organized. Oh my god, so it's like an iPad. I should mention, I have seen videos on the Remarkable and comparing it to the Kindle Scribe. Now, I've never had a Remarkable just because I also have an iPad, so... Oh my god, it works! Did you... Y'all, did you see that? It just automatically... Well... It just works. Should we create a folder? Just create a notebook. Oh, I usually go for grid. So, yeah, let's go grid and let's just, can I? Yeah, it works. Well, um, we'll call it test. Test. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It says taking notes on your Kindle to turn the page, swipe anywhere, or use the pointer tool to tap the sides of the screen to change settings or close your notebook. Tap the top of the screen to open the main toolbar. Oh, meet your writing tool. It helps. Oh, I didn't realize you couldn't see that. Meet your writing tool. It helps you do more with your pen as you read and take notes. Minimize. Tap the top circle to collapse the toolbar. Tap again to expand it. Nice. Writing tools. You can choose the pen, highlighter, or eraser tool. You can also tap on the chosen tool to open that tool's option menu. Hmm. Pointer. Use the pointer tool to take, tap, or swipe. I mean, you know, I feel like they could have used commas in here, but I'm sorry. Swipe actions like turning page or changing settings. Undo and redo. Tap to quickly undo if you 
make a mistake and if you undo by mistake just tap redo basic yep do more you can move the toolbar to the left or right side of the screen very nice and that's it Ooh, crisp hold up that is that the eraser nice that you've got options i think we'll just do medium for now this is the pen i'm guessing you can do thickness as well yeah fine thick fine thin medium thick heavy very nice hello oh my god i this feels really real like i usually struggle writing on my ipad but for some reason it feels like i'm actually writing on paper that is very 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 close to my real handwriting that's amazing and now we can erase page uh, or oh very nice that's definitely pretty good and then honestly you can even probably bring this to school you can do like what oh my god what on earth was that can we redo that how i don't know i don't want to know how i just wrote my thing why did i what who writes their g with the, what is that tiny thing we're not gonna comment so you can literally just be at school and you can just write english 321 which is actually my class right now so this wouldn't be next semester but you can even just take notes like gilgamesh wow that's i'm not even lying it really does look like my actual handwriting is it does it snap here or does it snap here? oh okay it snaps on the right side so the bar is here and then it snaps on the right oh now let's go library it's gonna be messy, I'm assuming. Yeah, I hate that Audible shows up. Um, I usually filter by collections. Very nice. Yeah, ooh. You now choose how your collections are shown in your library. Show all, none, or only your favorites. All right, thank you, uncollected. What do I have on, oh yeah, all my audiobooks. The downside is they all on the uncollected sections they show all the audible books and i never i never listen to audible audible on my ipad which is on my kindle sorry so let's go to all settings oh i need to change that um device options oh yeah display cover 100 percent. y'all know i love that display settings um actually i don't need to do that advanced probably yeah, home and library, audible content, show library filter only. Yeah, so if I select audible, it should only show up on audible, but I'm going to assume it doesn't go away. I really wish I didn't have to see this at all. Like, I'm not the type of person, I have the audible app on my phone, so I just don't need, you know, I don't need it. Anyway, let's click auto brightness off i like to schedule my timing my warm schedule the warm schedule is so nice look out how orange do that so i like to have it at the strongest um from 8 p.m to 8 a.m actually that's that's perfect so beautiful um thank you very much okay people as you guys saw i unboxed the kindle scribe i was gonna say kindle unlimited why i don't know but this is really big this is beautiful i really enjoy it i love that my handwriting actually looks just the way it is on paper i love writing on the ipad and you know that's still my go-to advice for taking notes but i think this will definitely be perfect for simple annotating on your notebook and i can't wait to show you guys kind of what I would do for situations when I annotate and I can't wait to you know especially see how it is and maybe show you guys people who want to annotate but do not want to write f on your physical actual paperback copy um, and instead maybe want to buy an iPad or a Kindle scribe or, you know, instead, um, instead of writing on the actual book, you can, you know, read on your Kindle 
and right through here and I think that you know if you don't want to annotate physically you can annotate I feel like this would be annotated on your Kindle is just gonna be chef's kiss I think that this is a tool that annotators can start to dive in start to enjoy okay doors are closed I have arrived hello you guys care about this baby the Kindle scribe the newest Kindle that Amazon or, I don't know, Kindle came out with, and I actually have been doing, like, using it, utilizing it occasionally. Unfortunately, like, I feel bad that I haven't really used it a lot, but I have been kind of, if you will, taking notes on it and whatnot. Pluses are I really love the writing. Writing on this is so smooth and just so beautiful. It looks literally like my handwriting and that is the plus side. You can actually write on PDFs. You can't do it unfortunately on EPUB like I tried like with my ARCs that I get from Neck Alley. It doesn't work unfortunately. You have to highlight the same but I've been in a big slump as of the beginning of 2023 so I haven't done any reading and or at least a lot of reading and I'm just just stuck right now with reading because <laughs> I think it's because I'm also doing a lot of school academic reading and reading a lot of schoolwork books books for school and everything so I just haven't had the time to personal read sadly my kindle scribe is still eligible for return um it is able to be returnable it's eligible to return until January 31st and I think after this video, I think I'm probably going to return it because although I really love the the writing ability and reading, truly, I think it's a great idea and a smart idea, but I don't really need it, to be honest. And, and like, a big reason is because for the most part, uh, whenever I... Uh, whenever I read an ebook, I'm not really thinking about taking notes. Highlighting, 100% yes, and I do a lot of Kindle highlights and everything, but I don't think about like highlighting but also annotating. Um, I only really highlight with my Kindle books. I, for some reason, there's a difference between physical book annotating and Kindle annotating. I highlight on my Kindle, but I also sometimes like to highlight and annotate in a physical book. When it comes to the Kindle Scribe, I find that I don't really use their writing function at all when it comes to annotating and you know no matter how beautiful it is, how enjoyable I find the Kindle Scribe, I love the large screen. I simply don't think I would use it for the large screen and to be honest it the past month it has kind of been wasting away sitting on my desk waiting for me to use it and I don't want that to happen I want it to be able to be used and so I'm probably gonna return it and you know I think it's a really great product but to be honest if I were to annotate a PDF or whatever it is I, I would just use my iPad. It's great. I really enjoy this product, but I just don't find myself really using it that often. And even though I love the fact that my handwriting looks so good on the Kindle Scribe, that's not enough for me to justify keeping this product and kind of just leaving it at home. I just don't want something that I buy and then, you know, in February, March, April, whatever it is, I regret buying buying the Kindle Scribe because I know I will regret it because of how little I use the Kindle Scribe. Again, 10 out of 10 product. I love it, but I know I won't use it at a, as often as I would. I know this is a weird unboxing. It's an unboxing and it's also a goodbye to the Kindle Scribe, but it is for the best for me. Um, now, I'm not saying this is a bad product. I'm not saying, you know, that the Kindle Scribe sucks. It's the opposite. It is a great product, but like I said, it doesn't fit the way I'm using it. And I should say the lack of usage that I'm actually using it, unfortunately. That's the downside. I just don't use it often. And, um, you know, I'm glad that I, that I'm glad that I'm going to return this because someone else can have the opportunity to be able to use this. So 
Uh, leave any questions down below you you guys have. If you guys are still confused, like, um, you know, why don't you just keep it? What if you have more use out of the Kindle Scribe in the future? I'll be happy to answer any questions. I don't want this to be such a long video for you guys, um, f for you guys to watch. Um, again, terrific product, just not for me. However, you know, if you want more technical videos, there are tons on YouTube. That's it. That's it for this video. Thank you guys again for coming to this video. I know it's very, very delayed, a little bit rushed, to be honest. I wanted to get out, get it out as fast as possible. But let me know again if you guys have any questions whatsoever. Um, and I will happily answer them down in the comments below. Thank you guys for coming. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button down below. If you guys are interested in supporting me further, I do have a coffee account, Ko-Fi. So if you guys are interested, no obligation whatsoever, not mandatory. If you guys want to buy me coffee, I'll be super grateful. Thank you guys again. And um, I'll see you guys on Saturday or next week for a new video. Thank you guys for coming and I'll see you guys. Bye!